Okay, Rob here from MyPPCTraining.com, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up SiteLink extensions using AdWords, obviously, and why we're going to go through how you set them up, why you need them, what they do, and how to get a higher click-through rate using them. All right, so we should be logged into our AdWords account. And obviously this is the, we're inside a campaign right now, but if you're going to go into the campaign that we are going to build site links in, you're going to come over here to your left, go into your navigation, pick the campaign, and then you should see this tab. And ads and extensions is where you're going to have your site link set up. But first, let's walk through what site links are and what they look like. So for this example campaign, we're doing our XYZ roofers still. So that's Philadelphia Roofing Company. And if you come over and do... Google Philadelphia roofers or whatever, you're going to see these types of links like this. Now, these are site links, okay? So you kind of have like a main call to action headline and then a small description text. You don't have to use description text. That's totally optional. But this is what it looks like. Obviously, this guy could have done it a little bit better, but let's see if we can find something else. Okay, here's one. So you see they got four here. This is Home Advisor. They always have great ads. So roofers don't just hire any roofer, and then you come down here, and we have our site link extensions. So they're basically just call to actions that take up more real estate on Google's search page, all right? And they link to different parts of your website. So if you're doing, so this guy's probably, I'm assuming, roofing contractors. He's going to a page about, you know, his his company. Well, this is Home Advisor. So let's just say, forget this example. This guy's not Home Advisor. He's a regular roofing company. He's going to link roofing contractors to like maybe his about page about their company. His flat roof experts is going to link to a page about flat roofing and how, what they do and how it works and their services for it. Same with asphalt shingle roofers. It's going to link to a page about asphalt shingles and stuff like that. Roof replacement, same deal. It's going to go to a page dedicated to roof replacement, maybe their rates, services, whatever. And that's pretty much it for um, site links. So you can really put as many as you want. Ideally, we recommend that you always do either four or six. So that's just the way we do it, and we've seen it work really well. Here's another one. So we've got some more up here. So here's commercial roofing. So that would go to a commercial roofing page, replacement, contact page, emergency repair, a little bit about maintenance stuff. This guy is just offering a more list of other services he's doing. So you kind of see the, the gist here of what's going on and what it's used for. It's basically helps spread the, the traffic amongst your site. And just keep in mind, though, if you're setting up site links that you want it well, on your landing page or your website, the pages you're sending traffic to via site links should be set up for lead conversion. So you should be able to click the call from there. You should be able to have a lead contact form on there. Don't just set them to a blank page with a bunch of content in it. That's going to get them lost and confused, and they're just going to hit back. Okay? So we want to make sure that they that they uh, turn into a lead. Now, going back, so <clears throat> we're in our campaign. We're gonna come down over here, and we're gonna go to ads and extensions. And this is where we're gonna create, sorry, we're gonna, up here, you're gonna toggle over to extensions. And this is where we're gonna create our ad extensions, and that includes site links. So we come here, pulls up a list. These are all the ad extensions, and I actually have a video that I made earlier um, we're go going through each one of these and how they work and what they're used for. So check that out. I'll drop a link for that in the description below this video. But for now, site link. We're going to come in here. You can either add it at the account campaign or ad group level. So you can have different site links for each ad group, which is powerful. But for right now, for this example, we're just going to do a campaign level. So this is going to show for all of our ad groups in our XYZ Roofers campaign. And here's your headline. We'll do your text. So we'd say like, Certified roofing experts. And then you could do a description here or here, whatever, doesn't really matter. Then you would come down here, drop your URL for the site link of where you want it to go. Let's say uh, let's say it would go to a maybe an about page or something like that. Advanced options. One thing real quick, let me backtrack here. 
So when you're setting up your site links, if you get confused about what is what, you can always hover over this little question mark here, and it's going to come up and just basically tell you what this is, what it's used for. And it's really helpful if you're new and don't really understand the AdWords interface. So just keep that in mind when you're setting all this up. You come down here if you did advanced options. So you can do device preference here. You can do this mobile or desktop. We usually do a set of site links for desktop and a set for mobile and let Google decide which to show. Or you can just do one set and make them all mobile and Google will show them on mobile and probably show them on desktop as well. We'll decide like that also. But just for, for us, it's just the way we've always done it. We like doing it that way and we've had success with it. So that's how we do it. So for this one, this would be, if we're doing it our way, it would be just the first desktop. So we come down here, you can do an ad schedule if you want to show the site links between certain times, start date, end date, whatever. We don't really mess around with this too much. I don't think you should either. Just let it run. So we have our first site link. So remember, if we're doing it our way, we would go back in again and do the same thing and make it mobile. What was that first one, Surf? So it could be about, or it could just be the homepage. If maybe you have a, a, a blurb about, you know, different, different uh, certification and stuff like that. I mean, you want to take the people from the site link to the most relevant page of the landing page or the website. And that's that's really it, guys. That's how you set up your site links. Obviously, you don't just want to make them up on the fly like I'm doing right here. That's That would be really dumb. So you want to put some serious thought into your call to actions that you want to use for your site links. Um, just certified roofing experts is so generic. I would never use this in a real campaign. But um, you kind of get what I'm, go what I'm going for here is you want, to, you want to use these as call to actions. You want to make it so outrageous that people click it. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of different things you could do, and I made a few videos going through how you how we do the same thing with our ad text. I make ads that have a high click-through rate, and click-through rate just simply means the rate that someone clicks for, clicks on your ad versus the impressions of the times it's shown. All right, so you want to have a high click-through rate. That's really important when you're running AdWords. Sorry, I'm going off track here. Anyway, so site links. If you have any questions, drop them below this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up below. We always like that. And check out the links in the description. I'll drop a few for different videos for showing up how to set up all the site, all of the uh, ad extensions, not just site links. And also join our Facebook group. There's a link for that below, I believe, so in this video, hopefully. So other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.